Hello, welcome to the Margin Outro, the cybersecurity show. In this video, I'm going to give an honest review of the Zygu X6200. I will compare the Zygu X6200 to the Zygu X6100. There are huge updates to the design, the build, the performance, power output, features, and firmware. I am... I will end this video. I will conclude by discussing the best radio frequencies. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. So the Zygu X6200 is a new portable, uh, you know, transceiver that is, you know, is generated significant interest uh, among the community of amateur radio, right? Uh, so here are some of the, the, the bombshell kind of updates, right? So the design and the build. So the X6200 has a slightly larger four inch color display with improved contrast compared to the X6100. The X6200 features built-in side rails for protection while the X6100 did not. The X6200 has a removable battery which is significant improvement over the X6100's fixed internal battery. Now, in regards to performance, the X6200 implements a new direct radio frequency sampling. Or, you know, right? You know that that deals with um, architecture, which may improve receiver performance compared to the X6100's direct down conversion design. Early impressions suggest the X6200's receiver seems better, though scientifically, you know, it, the measurements are not there. You know, not there. They're not available yet, right? So, in regards to the power output, the X6200 outputs 4W on battery and 8W with external power, slightly lower than the X6100's 5W slash 10W respectively. In regards to the features, the X6200 adds wide uh, FM and airband reception capabilities not present in the X6100. So both radios have similar core functionality for HF uh, slash 6M operation, including built-in ATU and digital mode support. If you like this video so far, please take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button and like button. If you like this video so far, hit that subscribe button and like button. So in regards to firmware and support, it's unclear if the Zygu will continue supporting the X100 with firmware updates now, the, now that the X62 is here, right? Uh, the user experience, the overall user experience and operation of the X6200 is reported to be very similar to the X6100. So uh, the X6200 uh, you know, offers some improvements, particularly in design and potential RF performance. Many users find the differences insufficient to justify upgrading from a working X6100. So, you know, in regards to full performance comparisons and long-term reliability assessments, they, you know, they're still pending as the X6200 is relatively new to the market. So it does have some new capabilities however right it has the wide fm and airband reception we talked about that the 88 to 108 megahertz fm and 136 megahertz am its potential for future expansion models it implements direct radio frequency sampling architecture which may improve performance there's the ergonomics and build right uh, its dual front handles uh, you know allow flat displacement there's side rails for protection that's built in you have pull out legs for angled operation um there's the overall solid build quality and good fit slash finish now uh the early impressions you know it, it has an improved screen contrast compared to the x6100 uh you know there are some users who noted potential audio issues requiring further testing um there are some bugs in the early firmware versions and but you know obviously updates are expected right there is uh, you know it's around 800 bucks right now msrp uh it's positioned as a competitive option in the portable hf transceiver market while full reviews of production units are still pending the x6200 appears to be promising or a promising addition to the zygu's lineup offering significant uh improvements and new features over previous models however potential buyers should wait for more comprehensive reviews of final production units before making a decision now that's the zygu however there's not it's not it's not only that in the market right they want all this smoke so there are other you know radio transceivers out there so um some of the top recommendations are the icom ic7300 and that's a highly popular and you know it offers excellent features for its price range it has good receiver performance sdr right software defined radio it has tech, you know you know software defined radio technology it, um it's decent you know it has a front panel interface it's 100w output power there's the Yasu FT710AESS, which is a newer model that offers great features and performance. It has excellent DSP noise reduction. There's good ergonomics and user interface. There's HF slash 50 megahertz coverage. There's the Kenwood TS590S slash G. And it's a little bit older, but this model is still highly regarded. 
Uh, it has excellent receiver capability, good build quality, reliable performance. There's the ICOM IC7610. Uh, it's, you know, it has a uh, high performance, right? Um, you know, it's a HF slash 50 megahertz amateur radio transceiver that offers, you know, various advanced features. Now, what are those advanced features? We have the frequency range, that's the 1.8 uh, to 50 megahertz transmit, or the 0 0.03 to 60 megahertz, you know, that's the receive. You have the RF output power, that's the 1 to 100 W, SSB, uh, CW, RTTY, PSK, FM, and the 1 to 25 WAM, right? It has dual independent receivers, the seven inch colored um, touchscreen display, direct RF sampling, notable features. It has innovative um, RF direct sampling. Uh, the IC7610 employs, you know, an RF direct sampling system that converts RF signals directly to digital data for processing. This reduces distortion compared to traditional super heterody heterodyne uh, receivers, you know, so it has excellent receiver performance. It's 110 dB, uh, reciprocal mixing dynamic range. There's customized low phase noise, the VCXO for the master clock. There's the dual uh, Digicel um, pre-selectors and separate band pass filters for each receiver. There's the advanced display and spectrum scope, right? There's the seven inch uh, color touch screen with 800 by 400 uh, pixel resolution. It has high speed, high resolution, real time spectrum scope. There's the dual spectrum scopes for monitoring both receivers simultaneously. In regards to the audio features, um, there are, you know, the audio scope with FFT and oscilloscope displays for transmit slash receive radio. There's the built-in RTTY and PSK decoders. Now there are other capabilities, right? There's the dual USB ports for PC connectivity, the LAN port for remote operation, SD card slot for select settings slash voice memory storage. There's optional RS, you know, BA1 software for IP remote control. Now, in regards to price and availability, the IC7610 is priced around $3,250. It remains in production and is available from various amateur radio equipment dealers. Now, here are some factors to consider when you want to choose a transceiver because they're not all built the same, okay? Usability is the number one, right? Focus on radios that are easy to operate, especially for field use. You know, in regards to features, look up, you know, look for features that match your operating style, like digital modes, voice, and CW. Power output, most options offer 100W, which is sufficient for most users. Now, in regards to your budget, don't go overboard, but also be realistic, right? Quality options are available in various price regions from under a thousand to over 2000. So be in that 1000 to 2000 range. Portability, if you plan to, you know, operate in the field, consider size and power efficiency. Remember, while specifications are important, the best radio for you will depend on your specific needs, operating style and budget. Many modern transceivers offer excellent performance. So focus on finding one uh, that you enjoy using. Now uh notable uh, mentions or notable options uh you have the yaisu or yaisu fdtx 10 which offers a larger screen and improved noise reduction compared to some competitors you have the ellicraft k4 which is considered top tier but comes at a premium price you have the flex 6400 which is a good option for those comfortable with computer controlled operation so if you like this video please take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button and the like button once again if you like this video so far and you enjoyed it you gained some knowledge uh please hit that subscribe button and the like button and uh if, if there are other topics that you would like me to cover in the radio uh transceiver sphere uh please let me know and i'll i'll, I'll cover a video about that so i appreciate your viewership stay safe and see you in the next video